got that power over me Welcome back. Thank you so much for watching Maddie's World, Maddie's Journey. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications to know when your girl uploads. So today I am going grocery shopping because we are going to make nachos. Now, if you love nachos just like myself, you know going out to restaurants or local bars to get nachos, it may be a little pricey. And then you don't get to have some for later. So I'm going to the grocery store. We're going to pick up some items. And then we're going to come home and make delicious nachos. Now give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. And let's go on this journey. First, you're going to need an onion to add some flavor. Then you're going to need some tomatoes for flavor. Some shredded lettuce. So now we're getting our ground beef for our nachos. You can use turkey or chicken. I'm gonna be getting some beans. I actually learned this particular recipe from a bar. I'm not using the red beans. I'm gonna use the dark red kidney beans. Now you're gonna see that I'm getting salsa. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick with the salsa. So delicious. Now we're gonna get a little bit of onion powder for some more flavor. Then we're gonna get some melted nacho cheese. We're gonna pick out our chips. So I'm gonna use these particular Doritos and I'm gonna use regular Doritos. Moving right along. So I did dice up some onions and some tomatoes for my toppings. Then I opened two cans of the dark red kidney beans and you can keep some of the juices for the cooking process so it does not stick to the bottom of the pan. I did add some Italian seasoning for flavor, salt free, some onion powder. And you guys, I'm doing this with my left hand and I'm actually right handed and I'm just trying to show y'all what I did. So just thank you for being patient. I used some garlic powder. and two tablespoons of butter, and I am trying my best to mix it while holding the camera. Mix, 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 mix. Now moving on to the ground beef. I used a little bit more than half, so I can have more portions to obviously to take to work and to have some for later. Probably after all of these nachos, you know, I'm not, not gonna want any for a while. But I did go ahead and put the ground beef in the frying pan. I'm trying to break it up with my left hand and I am a righty. Shout out to all the left handed people that are smart. That's what they say. And yeah, breaking that meat down. Breaking down that moo, moo. So we're cooking guys. I use Italian seasoning, crushed red peppers, whatever spices and seasonings you want to use, but I did add some chopped up onions into the ground beef for flavor. Look at how that is cooking. Look at that. So now we're going to drain it. And I know y'all probably like, why did you pour it in the sink? Look, it's okay. And like I said, I'm, I'm trying to do this with one hand and some of the ground beef went in the sink, but it's okay. So I am draining the excess grease or oil or whatever you want to call it, fat. And now the salsa. Now this is what I'm using it for. So I am pouring it in the ground beef. Now this gives it flavor. I used the medium salsa because I already added crushed peppers prior to. And I'm just going to mix that in. Now let's see what happens. Look at that. Don't that look like taco meat from school when they used to have taco day? Yep, that's what it looks like. But it's not dry. It's moist. It has flavor. It is delicious. Now let's make these nachos. Okay, let's get the Doritos. 
Hurry up, get it out the back, hurry up, put it on the plate, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, there we go. All right, you're being a little stingy, put some more on the plate, okay. Let's do it, let's do it, chop, chop, we ain't got all day. So, I'm adding the regular Doritos. Now, with these flameless Doritos, I've never tried them before, but yeah, they're pretty dark. Now, most people would have gotten like jalapenos to add to their nachos. I got these particular chips because I thought that it'll give me that spice, but they're not spicy. They actually taste like Takis. Now we're gonna add sharp cheddar onto the Doritos. The reason why I'm doing this, you'll find out. Let's add some cheese, regular shredded cheese. Maybe you can lose a little more. Now we're gonna add the hot ground beef on top. So that cheese underneath is going to melt. And let's spread it out. And that is hot. Caliente. Make it a little bit more presentable. Come on, hurry up. And more cheese. Clogging up your arteries. Now, we're going to add lettuce. I like a lot of lettuce. You can use a little lettuce. Just spread it around. I think the lettuce made it like look really huge. But it's fine. Now we're gonna get those dark red kidney beans. And if you've never had your nachos with beans, do not knock it till you try it. It gives it a different flavor, a different taste. Some people use black beans. But the dark red kidney beans, it just gives it a whole nother flavor. Look at that. Now we're going to get the salsa queso. And I tried my best to make it even, but the best way to use this is you can actually warm it up and then spread it. But I didn't want to do that but I'm trying to make it as even as possible. And that looks like a big mountain of nachos. Doritos nachos. Look at that. Look at that. That's your onions, your tomatoes, your dark red kidney beans, your ground beef, your nacho cheese. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. You got that power, oh.